everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my mental health awareness my story if you didn't get a chance to watch part one the link for that video will be in the description box below so make sure you check that out so that you can be caught up because I'm not gonna go back and reset everything that I said in that video but um, again welcome back so here it goes so hey everyone, as you guys saw, I decided to title this video, That Ain't Nothing But The Devil. And so that actually was a comment I received under, um, under part one of this video. I mean, under part one of this series. And it was a comment that I received after the video was like posted for a second. So the person that wrote this comment clearly did not watch the video, but it still inspired the title for this. So um, because that has been a theme of the whole idea of mental health issues and concerns and disorders being put in a different category than other medical issues and diseases and disorders. So for whatever reason, the world has decided to put medical mental health issues in its own little category with, you know, stigma and shame and everything else. But any other sickness, you know, cancer, diabetes, all that, there's no shame with that or people aren't, you know, put down or made feel or made to feel guilty for having it or, you know, forced to hide in shame or, you know, different suffering in silence. You don't hear that as much. Now, I'm not saying that's never the case. I'm just saying you don't hear that as much. Um, you know, people suffering in silence because they have cancer or suffering in silence because they have diabetes or suffering in silence in silence because they broke their leg. Like all of these other medical conditions, you do not hear people um, you don't hear people using it or addressing it in the same way as medical mental health um, issues. And so, like I did mention the first thing, there's a difference between depression or anxiety or um, any other label like that that people use kind of like in passing or in as a temporary thing or just as an emotional thing versus men medical mental health concerns and issues and disorders which are actually um, connected to the functioning of your brain and how um, you were born and, and how you were developed or how things are working inside of your body. Like that's what makes it medical. So again, I'm not gonna go on that rant and it's because I think that part of my hiding and suffering in silence was because I viewed in the Christian community, a lot of people did view mental health in a skewed way or in that way, like, you know, oh, you know, just go pray about it or cast that demon out or, you know, different things like that in, in a way that any other medical conditions, like the ones I just gave examples of, any of those were never treated in that way. So I think that was um, one of the big reasons that I did suffer in silence or that I chose to suffer in silence because I just felt so ashamed and, you know, people not understanding was just really, really hard for me to deal with. Cause it's like, no, this isn't just something like that I can just pray about and not do anything else. Just like if you have cancer or, you know, you break your leg, you are definitely going to pray and keep God first, but most likely you're going to go get chemo. You're going to go get treatment for it. So when you have a medical mental disorder you need treatment and so i just want to drive home that point because i really think it's a huge thing just missing like in the world in general but definitely in specific communities and i'm just talking about my experience so in the christian community and in the black community are the experiences where i um just really felt the most shame more than in any other area of my life actually so and i think it all is just because of people not knowing or understanding the difference between a medical mental issue versus you know just an emotional thing you know and so there's a huge difference there is um medic a medical difference of those things 
So I just want to, you know, encourage people to just do their research and just be very mindful of the language that they use when somebody comes to you saying they, you know, they're struggling with depression or anxiety or any other, you know, things like that. Because yes, they could be talking about the emotional one. They could be, but they also could be talking about the, the mental, but they also could be talking about the medical one. So you want to make sure that in the same way if somebody came to you saying they, you know, found out that they had cancer or they just broke their leg in front of you, you're definitely going to pray, but you're going to encourage them to seek the treatment um, that they need. God working through doctors, through their calling to heal and anything else that it is involved in whatever the issue is. But to not just assume that it's an emotional thing or, you know, something that somebody can just, you know, brush off. Like, I just really want to drive that point home because I really think that it's a huge misconception when it comes to mental health. And so just like in an area you might be an expert in, you know, educate people who just might not know. So I just don't want this to sound like, you know, that I'm like yelling or like, you know, yelling at people or something. But anyways, it's just good to research and find out information about things before you put your mouth on it. When you when you don't have all of the knowledge or make assumptions when you don't know. Um, and also don't be so quick to call something from the devil. Be just like in Job's story, like he had to ask permission, like the, the devil, like, anyway, I don't even want to get into that because he's getting too much <clears throat> of my breath. So anyways, the point is read, read a little more before you put your mouth on stuff. So that is just my, my mini soapbox, but I will get into, um, my inspiration i was really moved by the passage about paul's thorn in his flesh and that can be found in second corinthians 12. i'm gonna start at verse 7 and i would encourage you to go back and read starting at the beginning of verse 12 or even um at the beginning of corinthians or even the beginning of the new testament well the beginning of the bible and read all of it <laughs> but no seriously like um another a little mini soapbox real quick um just like some people go straight to one scripture and then use it out of context because they don't know they haven't read the whole story so just be sure like you know if you're gonna just focus on a scripture just make sure you know the background information or try to educate yourself about knowing the background information because oftentimes things you know scriptures are used a little bit out of context but anyway i'm i'm going on a lot of soapboxes and this is not um the time for that because i'm not trying to have this video be 85 minutes so <laughs> i'm going to again um go to second corinthians 12 starting at verse 7 and he's talking basically about how sweet he is. Um, in other words, I realize that he's not, you know, saying that verbatim, but basically he's saying he has, he's done a lot for the kingdom. He had done a lot for the kingdom. So if anybody was going to boast, it should have been him. So, so I'm going to start and I'm just going to read till 10 um, and then chat a little bit and then say goodbye because I feel this is already getting long. Starting at verse seven. Okay. So that doesn't make sense for me to start from there. So I'm going to go back to six. Okay. <laughs> If I wanted to boast, I would be no fool in doing so because I would be telling the truth. But I won't do it because I don't want anyone to give me. Okay, y'all. So my phone is running out of space and it continues to cut me off. And I continue having to start recording over and going back and deleting stuff. And it cut off this time right in the midst of the tears and all of that. So that might have been alright. But anyways, um, clearly maybe that's letting me know that I'm rambling too much and going on and on. So I will um, talk some more. Check next three. week for part three. And also check the description box for any links that I have below for any other videos and then you can also go to the home page on my channel and check out any of the other fun stuff I have going on and again thank you so much for watching and um feel free to leave a comment below um about your feelings and we can start you know a little dialogue a little conversation positively only because if not you're gonna get blocked and deleted you're gonna um, get blocked and deleted oh, yeah <laughs> all right everyone I will see you next time